Hi there, welcome Sagittarius. Today's reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you have Sagittarius in your chart, or you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, remember that these readings are meant to be a bridge to your own intuition. They're collective, so not every energy is gonna match every single person watching. What I really want you to do it, go in with the intention of receiving messages through the energy of love and your higher self and your intuition, and listen to what comes up within you your inner knowing. I'm Wendy Irene, founder of GiveLoveCreateHappiness.com. I'd love for you to join me there if you feel called to. It's my creative space in the world. Okay, Sagittarius, so let's get started. I pre-shuffled, but I'm gonna shuffle a couple more times. Just breaking the deck here, I saw the King of Wands, which I love, because that's your energy. Um, that beautiful fire energy, that's a sign of you really standing in your power, you being authentically you, you being the warm, loving, attractive person that you really are. People are drawn to you and your energy, especially when you're in your power and your elements. Okay, let's do one more shuffle, Sagittarius. I hope that you are all doing well. This time is really precious to me. I love doing these readings for you. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the Three of Pentacles, collaboration, working together, um, something successful that you're working together uh, with someone or someone's on. Okay, this could have to be like you're collaborating, could be a relationship, it could be a work thing or something that makes you money. The tower came out right away here. Okay. This is a beautiful thing. I love the tower card because I love for the universe to step in. For me personally, I see major arcana as the universe. I kind of see the minor arcana more as people and the major arcana as a universe stepping in. That's just my own interpretation. The tower is the universe stepping in and getting rid of something that's not right for you. Sometimes it just means that it's a surprise. It could be a good surprise. It could be a surprise and you weren't expecting it, but ultimately something that is not in your highest good and not in your highest alignment is being wiped away here and i love for the universe to do that sometimes we really need the universe to step in and help in that way um it, or like there's just this fork in your soul path where your or your soul journey where you're headed please god please spirit why is the tower card here can you give us any more information on the tower card Nine of Wands, uh, another card of completion. So something is done. The tower is coming in because something is done and completed with the nine. Um, the nine of Wands, see how the hair is overcoming the snake here? Like you're overcoming something that might be difficult or challenging. Um, whatever it is, like the tower is here to wipe it away. So I feel like there's an end to this challenging situation or the stress, um, but it's gonna be a really positive thing. It's gonna put you on the right path. And the universe, okay, so I love when it all makes sense. The universe also sent out the strength card, like this is the universe wanting you to know you are strong. You are going to, whatever this is, you're incredibly strong. You have all the strength within you that you need. This is gonna put you in the right place, okay? So have some faith here, have some trust here. You, like this woman in the picture, can have your hands in the lion's mouth and you, you have this strength behind you. You have incredible strength. I really want you to remember how strong you are. Sometimes we have gone through challenging situations because it helps us to gain strength. And to be on that path that you're meant to be on, to be in alignment with yourself, that big, bright, beautiful person that you are, like you're meant to have a lot of strength, okay? What else can you tell us for my beautiful Sagittarius friends here? Spirit, what does Sagittarius need to know? What would help them? Please give us some messages for Sagittarius. Ten of Cups, King of Swords. So when I said that this tower is going to put you on your right path, it is, because it's going to set you up for the Ten of Cups, Cups ultimate fulfillment, happiness. Um, you're going to be 
Uh, without this tower, like this Ten of Cups wouldn't be possible is what I'm feeling. So this thing needs to be wiped off so that you are on path for your ultimate fulfillment and happiness. Um, and the King of Swords, some of you, you may be dealing with an air sign, which is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It doesn't have to mean you are okay. Because it can also be, the King of Swords is this divine masculine energy of clarity. It may be that you are then able to gain clarity or you will look back and you will have clarity as to why the tower is here, as to why that is. It's a beautiful thing. Um, there is this clarity. There is this communication. So somebody might be like communicating something to you that really feels really good like that makes you so happy so the ten of cups is like an incredible card of happiness here what other messages does Sagittarius need to know God spirit what other messages I use the term God you can fill that in with universe spirit whatever you want I'm just comfortable with that term I totally understand why not everyone is um, so just replace it hope that doesn't offend anyone but just replace it with whatever makes sense for you okay judgment there's a decision being made the universe is bringing in judgment judgment a decision there's a, a major decision gosh i really feel like you two are also are going to be really using your intuition here temperance okay so it's like this judgment call has been made. So judgment is major arcana universe to me. So is temperance major arcana. God universe behind this. this. There's a lot of powerful energy in this reading Sagittarius. This is to bring about balance. Um, like this decision has been made to bring about balance. Um, tempering the ego and really being soul aligned here. So something... Maybe something for some of you could have to be that this tower is removing something that maybe your ego thought it wanted, but it's not in alignment with your soul. It will really bring you happiness. And Spirit wants you to know here that you have beautiful happiness and clarity coming in as something is going to be balanced out here. That a decision has been made and it has to do with balancing things out. Bringing your soul forward. The Four of Swords. So, you know, for any of you that feel like you've been stressed, like you've been kind of having a hard time within your own mind, know that there is this offer of stability coming in. This is for the long run. This is stable. So please try not to worry here because this is long-term stable. The night, like I like to say, of Pentacles is often described as the slowest moving night in the deck, but it's also very stable and reliable and it is a beautiful energy although it may be slow it is a beautiful offer here it could have to do with a long-term stable offer of love it could have to do with a long-term stable offer with work or money in some way here with the pentacles let's look into the knight of pentacles a little bit more spirit why is the knight of pentacles here please give me clarity what you i feel like so it's like you're going from the four of swords this stress about something to this clarity with the king of swords and to standing in your power or you could have this beautiful air sign coming in for some of you you have maybe this person coming in or they have elements of like communicate good communication skills and they're coming in and it's really going to bring you so much joy and fulfill you also a message of passion with the knight of wands okay and a brand new beginning okay so basically the tower comes in it's putting an end to a difficult situation you have a lot of strength here remember that you're getting this brand new beginning but you're getting this offer of something that is one not only stable and for the long run it's also something that's in alignment with your passion someone feels really passionate about you or some situation you will feel really passionate about it and 
it's a beautiful brand new beginning, which makes sense, but this new beginning is your happiness, you, your clarity here. Okay, Sagittarius, let's pull from one more deck. This is the Guardian Angels Tarot deck. Let's shuffle it a couple times. I mean, you can't really get better than the offer of stability and passion together. That is beautiful. Okay. What are the highest messages for Sagittarius Spirit? What are the highest messages? Eight of Abundance. So this says, this is a time of learning and honing your skills. You may feel inspired to go back to school, take seminars on topics that fascinate you, or educate yourself on the healing arts. This is a good time to change jobs or make a career move. The key to success in the, is in the details. Monitor your projects carefully. And so the, for some of you, like this, this new, brand new beginning has to do with that. And it, it's gonna be something that you're like, you know, for the long run that you're passionate about. It's gonna bring you a lot of happiness here. Okay, let's see if we can pull one more message. Please Spirit, give me one more message from my beautiful Sagittarius friends. Please give me Go within. You are a very intuitive person and there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. You don't need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself. Okay, so I really feel like, I mean, and it's kind of in the silence that you really connect with the divine. So taking time, you're going to feel this. I feel like you're going to feel this passion and happiness within you, like really wanting to push through and guide you here through this change, through this tower into this brand new beginning that is beautiful. I hope that you got some messages that helped you, Sagittarius. Know that I am energetically supporting you here with my love and light. I really appreciate you being here with me. If you like this video or you want to help the channel grow and you want to help the messages receive more um, of your fellow Sagittarius, please do like, subscribe, share, leave me a comment. I really appreciate all the energetic support you guys send my way. I hope you have a beautiful week and I will see you again soon. Bye, Sagittarius.